Namaste, yogis, and welcome to day four of my yin yoga challenge called Five Days to Wellness. If you've made it this far, I want to congratulate you personally that we only have today's class and then one more tomorrow, and that will conclude the challenge. So thanks for participating in this, sharing it with people, getting the momentum going, and working on your wellness. So for today's class, all we're going to need is a bolster. We're going to be working on our whole body. As a reminder, the goal of this challenge to really observe what the yin yoga practice is giving to you today. If it's releasing stress, if it's making you feel better by releasing physical tension, it's giving you insights on a problem you might have in your life. Comment in the section below and share with us what it does for you. So we're going to start by sitting up straight. And as with most of my classes, I always like to take three minutes just to close my eyes, drop my shoulder blades down, lengthen the crown of my head and my spine. And I just breathe deeply in and out through the nose as I calm my mind and prepare my body for this beautiful yin yoga class we're doing together today. So as you observe your breath coming in through your nose, filling your lungs with air, notice how much calmer you're getting, how things start to vanish around you, making you feel grounded, making you feel good about yourself and making you feel at peace in the moment being. So just observing your thoughts coming in and out like an ocean wave. Just let them pass through your mind and allow them to keep going, leaving your mind. We're just not judging anything here, not engaging with our thoughts, just allowing them to be as they are. So as you keep breathing here through your nose, slowly open up your eyes, come back to your yoga mat with me and we're gonna start this class together. So placing the bolster sideways on top of your yoga mat we're going to use this to go into a thoracic uh, stretch here as we get into butterfly so we're going to turn away from the bolster and here first of all we're just going to lower ourselves down very slowly just landing the bolster at the top of our spine so that we can stretch our head here and make contact with the floor so your hands can be hanging off the side here, your shoulder blades 
almost in contact with the floor. And we're going to bring the sole of our feet together and open up into butterfly position. So this feels really good for the spine. It opens up our heart chakra and inner groin. It's a great way to start a class as we remember to surround her to the power of gravity here, which is what yin yoga is about. Letting go and surrendering to gravity. You can already feel tension dissipating through the spine. The inner groin is softening up. And we just feel more open and receptive to the world. And I want you to focus on being more open and receptive to the beautiful things in the world, the positive things, disregarding any negativity that might weight you down and prevent you from achieving overall wellness. And we can slowly brace our abdominals, closing our knees very slowly as we come back to the seated position, extending our legs in front of us and just coming all the way up very slowly here. So from here, we're going to be working on our ties a little bit. We're just going to turn the bolster so that it, it aligns with our spine. And then we're going to bring the right leg back as we roll onto the left hip here, placing it in line with the exterior edges of our right thigh, and then aligning ourselves with the bolster, keeping the left leg straight in front of us. We're going to take one big inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to lower ourselves down very slowly. You should start feeling a nice stretch on the front of your right thigh. And then you can come to rest completely still on the bolster. This is really great to relieve tension at the front of the thighs. Something we don't do enough in yin yoga and I decided today to bring you there. So let's just reconnect with our breath here. And with every exhale, let's see if we can soften up the tension we feel in that right thigh.
can slowly push ourselves back up using our hands and forearms as we roll onto the left hip and release the right leg very gently here. So you can wiggle your legs a little bit, getting the blood flow, the energy to move. Noticing how you feel. Just enjoying this beautiful practice with me today. And when you're ready, we're gonna roll on the right hip as we bring the left leg back and around and then coming all the way back up here. So aligning the left shin with the exterior edge of the left thigh, bringing the bolster back to the base of your spine if it's not already there, and taking one big inhale here. And on the exhale, lowering ourselves down onto the bolster very slowly and surrendering to gravity, finding stillness and enjoying how that feels. Stillness is a beautiful thing that we all need more of in our lives. So well, from here, very slowly, we're going to start pushing ourselves up again as we roll on to the right hip, freeing the left leg from tension so that we can move that left leg forward and then come all the way up to the seated position. So it might feel good to just enjoy the rebound here a little bit. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to bring the bolster in front of us and we're gonna walk our legs back coming on to all fours so from here just working on the spine a little bit we're gonna go into cat and cow big inhale looking up drawing the belly button down curving the spine and then exhale as usual pushing through your shoulder blades chin to chest rounding the spine big inhale looking up Rounding the spine, exhale, pushing through your hands, rounding the spine here, big inhale, looking up again, exhale, one more on your own time.
and then coming back to center. So from here, we're gonna go into dragon pose. We're gonna take one big inhale as we raise the left leg up, bend back. Exhale, swing it forward inside of the left wrist as we untuck the toes of the right leg and extend it back. So from here, I'm gonna invite you to place your hands on the floor, just going into this nice stretch here, which is a medium flying dragon. So just gonna settle into this, allowing our hip flexors to loosen up a bit. And if you want to stay here, you can stay here. I'm going to invite you to do a variation. So we're going to place the bolster in a 45 degree angle here. We're going to lower ourselves on our right forearm as we bring the left, le uh, left arm sorry, back and we grab onto our ankle. So this is really good for, if again, for the front of the right thigh. It's good for the spine. It places you in a twist. You can put your forearm directly on the floor too if you don't like the bolster. But the bolster might offer you the support you're needing in this position today. If that's too much for you, feel free to release and go back to regular dragon pose. There is no shame, there is no judgment. There is only what your body di dictates you to do today. And that is good enough, no matter what that is. can release that right leg, bring the arm, the left arm back in front of us, pushing ourselves up, placing the bolster just in front of us, and then moving our hips back as we stretch the left leg here into a gentle hamstring stretch. So just enjoy the release here, enjoy how that feels. And we can bring the left leg back into all fours. So from here, we're gonna take one big inhale, raising the right leg up and back. And on the exhale, swinging it forward inside the right wrist, going into dragon pose, extending the left leg back and tucking the toes if they were tucked. And then you can bring that right hand inside of your legs and then just support yourself in a medium flying dragon. Allowing your hip flexors to loosen up here. Connecting with your breath. And then once more you can stay here if that's enjoyable and that's what you want to do today. Or we can go into twist and working again on the front of the left thigh. So placing the bolster in a 45 degree angle here in front of us. We're gonna lower ourselves on our left forearm and then we're gonna twist to the right using the right hand to come around and back grabbing onto the left ankle here. So this is what it looks like. It looks very complicated but 
it feels amazing. So I'm going to suggest you give it a try. And again, if it's too much, don't worry about it. Nobody's judging you. You are alone at home. <laughs> So let's close our eyes here. You might feel like you're rolling off a little bit on the edges of the right foot and that is okay. Actually your right hip should open up a little bit to help you with this shouldn't be square off like this it should be a little open so that's totally fine don't worry about it And we can slowly release the ankle, bring the right arm in front of us, pushing ourselves back up, placing the bolster out of our way, and then squaring off our hips and moving our hips back as we extend into a gentle hamstring stretch on the right side. And then we can bring the right arm over that right leg and bring it back around. So from here, we're gonna go into Sphinx pose. So we're gonna bring our elbows and forearms just in front of the bolster, lowering ourselves down to connect with it as we extend our legs back here. So the bolster will support our chest as we put the weight of our body on our forearms and hands in front of us, reconnecting with the breath and enjoying how that feels in our low back. So from here, we're gonna flare our elbows out and with our hands in line with our shoulder, we're gonna push ourselves up and then move our hips back as we release the pressure we had on the bolster here. 
So from here, we're going to conclude today's class into wide knee child's pose supported by the bolster. So touching our big toe together behind our glutes here, we're just going to bring our knees to the edges of our yoga mat. And then we're going to bring the bolster in front of us. We're going to keep a little gap here between our groin and the bolster. And we're going to take one big inhale. Exhale, we're gonna walk our hands forward, lowering ourselves down onto the bolster and then just hugging it. Just really coming to full contact with this bolster. As you spread your knees wider and wider if you want a deeper stretch in your inner groin. So this feels really good to relax and fully let go. This is where I want you to let go of any last bit of tension you are feeling in your mind or your body. So from here, very slowly, we're gonna push ourselves back up as we walk our hands back, bring our body weight to our glutes in contact with our heels and then closing our knees here. So I'm gonna invite you to come to the middle of your yoga mat in this seated position. And we're going to do the Om chant three times, which is amazing at balancing out the vibrations of your body. So just sit comfortably here. Place your hands on your knees. You can drop your shoulder blades again. Close your eyes. We're going to take one big inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to make the Om chant together three times. So let's go with the inhale. Filling your lungs full of air. Exhale, let's do it together. Um. can open your uh, your eyes slowly together so i hope you enjoyed this fourth day of my yin yoga challenge i hope you feel much better we only have one more day left 
Uh, let me know in the comment section below what today's class did for you, what as the yin yoga practice brought to you today in terms of anything, really. Let, us, let, let me know and let the community know. And uh, I'll see you for day, day five and fa final day, sorry, tomorrow. So hands at the heart, big inhale, exhale, namaste, guys. See you tomorrow and let's conclude this challenge beautifully. Have a good day. Bye.